Yo guys, what's up? Corey the Sandman Sandhagen here, doing some more post-fight breakdowns for you guys because I, you know, I hope that you guys are enjoying them. So far, me and Elias have made a total of $30 on our YouTube station, so it's going pretty well. We're starting to figure out how the camera works and all that bullshit, so uh, yeah, make sure that you guys are subscribing, doing all that stuff because it actually helps out a lot because maybe we'll make another $30 here pretty soon, which will be pretty exciting. But today we're going to go over Makachev versus Volk, you know, not really that crazy of a thing that happened as far as the technique wise or whatever it was super simple stuff we'll get into that how important it is to you know when you're fighting lefty righty you can keep things fairly simple we're going to talk about why let's get into it All right, cool guys. So like I said, man, there really isn't a ton of like super uh, like complex stuff that happened in this fight, all right? But the reason that that works is because when Elias is a righty and I'm a lefty, what's happening here is when you're trying to hit people, especially when you're trying to hit them in the body or really, you know, I guess to the face a little bit, the way that we're set up as people is that we're built kind of like two by fours, okay? Like this is the two inch side, this is the four inch side. All the stuff that hurts to get hit in is more or less on the four inch side, okay? Like this flat part of Elias, whether it's in his body, obviously his eyes, his nose, his teeth and stuff are in the front part of his face. That's kind of where I want to try to angle shots into so that they go through him, okay? Um, obviously through the face too, but this is where I'm trying to hit him, okay? When, we're, when I'm lefty and Elias is a righty, all of my power stuff is on this back side, okay? Um, like when I think of some of the best southpaws in the world, at least in kickboxing, I think of Giorgio Petrosian. And Giorgio Petrosian really didn't do a ton of like crazy stuff in order to beat everyone that he, he went against. What he did is he used his more powerful side hitting people on the flat of their body where it hurts to get hit in more than if Elias switches and I start throwing like maybe power round kicks. Like even if I land this good like underneath Elias' elbow, I'm going off to the side of him. It's still gonna suck, like definitely not gonna feel good if a grown man hits you in the body with his leg, but if he's open stance and I go to throw this same thing and it lays across his lap, that's what really, really hurts, okay? so. You don't need to bring a complex game set when you are fighting in a lefty stance versus a righty stance. What you need to understand is I have a bigger gun because my gun is already loaded on this side and it's gonna hit them on the flat side. Islam took big advantage of this, okay? They're playing here where Islam and Volk are kind of playing this like, you know, pretty normal touch game with each other's lead hand, okay? Because the space is so much different, like if Elias tries to jab me here, it's really easy for me to get out of the way, opposed to when I'm in this stance, it kind of like shoots a little bit more straight. Here, I can put this in the way of this so that it's not as big of a threat, if that makes sense. So like when we're fighting like this, for Elias to throw a jab, it has to go either inside or outside this, which is really difficult. Or if he goes to throw a hook, he has to go on the outside of it or the inside of it, which would be weird, yes. Um, and that's why they play that kind of like pawing game with each other is just because it makes it a pain in the ass for this to try to be able to hit someone good because you're leaving this in the way, okay? But that leaves open this side. So Islam's here, he's playing this game, it kind of eliminates this hand, boom, throws hard body kicks, right? Boom, throws hard body kicks, throws one of these like round shots, but it goes straight, which I love. I love when shots look like they're going round and then he throws it straight, turns the knuckles down. It looks like a really hard punch. Um, it didn't score that good, but you could tell Islam really knows what the hell he's doing by the way that he threw that. So, uh, of course, you know, who am I to comment? The dude's a champ. He's been training probably for a lot longer than me. So uh, I don't mean to like, you know, sound like a weirdo when I'm talking like that, but yeah, he, the dude definitely knows what he's doing. Okay, so we're here. Boom, lands here, and then the next shot is, or Volk, because he's not able to cover his full face because we're not using bigger gloves like in boxing and kickboxing. We're using MMA gloves, small gloves. You can't cover everything. I think Volk was a little nervous or worried that it was gonna go to the body again. Boom. Islam kicks him high. It kind of dinks off the side of his head. And I know because I've been hit like that, that kind of just spins your equilibrium a little bit. Like it makes you kind of feel a little bit on stilts. It doesn't like make you flash or black out or anything. It kind of just puts you on stilts where you're like, oh, what the fuck's going on? That type of feeling. Uh, 
like when I hit uh, Marlon Marais with the spinning heel kick, it like glanced the top of his head. And it's not like a shot where it's like you're gonna have that bad of a headache the next day, but it is a shot where it's just gonna like spin you for a little bit and you are or are not gonna get finished in that amount of time that it takes to get recovered. Volk obviously got finished with it, but it wasn't anything crazy. He just set it up by going to the body a lot. Boom, kicked high. Volk didn't block like that. He just blocked here, um, which is really difficult in MMA gloves, okay? so. Like I said, not really anything complex. I'll just offer you guys a new way that you guys can maybe learn from that mistake. We could all learn from that mistake so that we make sure that this doesn't happen, okay? So one way that I like to protect from head kicks that's maybe a little bit, a lot less traditional than what most people do, and I've learned this from really good people uh, like Tan Lee, who's the featherweight interim champ right now. He blocks a lot of kicks like this, and that dude's been doing Taekwondo for like 30 something years, so. I know that it works. I learned it from really, really good people, but uh, you'll be Islam now. Let's switch, actually. Okay, I'm Volk. Elias is Islam. Okay, when people are kicking here, go ahead. Boom. Especially on an open stance. This is not enough padding for me to cover everything. I have to pick and choose. I can lean like this, but this feels really awkward. I don't know that I would want to get punched in the head if I was like this, like I wanna be structurally sound when I get hit in the head, that way my body can take it as a unit and it doesn't just take it as one piece of my body. So when Elias goes to kick me, boom, like this, another option that we can use to protect ourselves from either a body kick or a head kick is just putting our arm out like this, okay? It works better uh, on head kicks, of course, than it does with body kicks. Before I get too ahead of myself, if Elias goes to kick me in the head, go ahead, uh, head, boom. He kicks me in the head, go ahead. I don't really like the odds of that either. If Elias goes to kick me in my head and I put out my arm like this, I'm pretty safe, you know? That was on my fucked up tricep, you better watch it, son. Uh, but even then, like that felt like a really safe thing to do. Uh, just don't kick me in my arm, but uh, you can actually aim at my face. You can like kind of hit me a little, okay? Like Boom. <laughs> uh, like Elias is not like a small dude. He's kind of built a little bit like a, like a bitch, but uh, when, when he goes to kick, like you actually fired at me, boom. Getting hit here doesn't suck that bad. Getting hit like in the liver definitely sucks, but if Elias goes, boom. This is a super easy way for me to just eliminate any threat of a head kick at all. Try to kick, boom. Like you're not going to kick me in the head when I block like this. Getting hit here is not the worst thing in the world. It's actually a really good way to block. I've done it in some of my fights if you go back and watch. Um, I don't think people really understand that it's actually a good way to block, so that kind of sucks, but that's because people are a little bit, like, everyone's a little bit behind of, I feel like, where the actual fighters are in the understanding of the sport, um, and that's okay, but this is a totally okay way to block, boom, where I'm like this. If Elias does go to kick me in my body when we're like this, I just turn it into a catch. I obviously have to know the difference, boom, and I'm gonna catch after I get hit or, like, on that very last second. Boom, so I can catch. But if he tries to kick me in the head when we're fighting and I just wanna block here, cool. If he's like, cool, I'm making that read, let me go to his body. Boom, you can just catch the kick like this and do whatever it is that you like to do after the kick. So that's all that I would say about that fight. If you guys liked the technique, all of that jazz that we're doing, make sure that you guys like and subscribe. I think I probably said that like a million times. Like I said, Thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for subscribing. We've made a total of $30, which is really, really cool. So thank you. And uh, that's it. Have a good week. Later. Bye.